Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Star Trek Online's episode, The Vault. Now, this is the first episode within the Romulan sector, which we'll be going to quite often. And now this one's going to have us going into a vault that is located in the other system, Cyvalorum. And uh, you talk to Kyle DeSoto here in the Admiral's office in Starbase 39, and he'll have you go and get a shuttlecraft. Now, I already have one, as you can see, and I put all my Borg stuff on it. Uh, however, if you do not have one, you'll have to go dip back down to the first floor and then run it all the way around to the ship and shuttle acquisitions vendor. And then that person will give you a free shuttlecraft like you see right here. Otherwise, you can buy a runabout or figure out how to put together a Delta Flyer. Now, this one, what we'll be doing is we'll be exploring some unidentified readings out in the Harkonnen system. So we're going to go out there and take a look-see. Now the reason why we're in a shuttle is because Admiral Tanay of Starbase 39 is like, oh well we want you to fly under the radar. Uh, in order to do that we get into a small craft such as a shuttle and we're going to find our way in. If you were to do this mission as a Klingon, you'd have to go to Quonos, speak with Tamek, who sends you to Vishka, who gives you a shuttle. Now, if this is the first time getting a shuttle, either Federation or Klingon, you get the size doesn't matter accolade, which is obviously for getting a shuttle. Now, as we enter the system, we're going to have three separate objectives. You only have to do one of the objectives, but it depends on which role you play. If you're an engineer, you have to examine an asteroid near a beacon somewhere. And if you're a science officer, you have to examine a derelict ship. Or if you're a tactical, you have to examine subspace traffic satellite. Now, I'm a tactical, so I have to do the satellite, but you can see right here that I just scanned a derelict ship. This is the science objective, but it was the first thing I saw, so I went ahead and did it. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the tactical objective, which is to scan this subspace traffic satellite. And I'm going to do a, a quick run towards the vault, which you can see in the background is that dark, ominous figure just a large space station. So they have a sensor grid that you have to pass through, did the objective, so we jam their sensors, and we're gonna go ahead and enter. So now that we've done that, we're inside. And you can go around and talk to a couple people in here to try and get security codes. I, for sake of time, just wanted to get in here and blow the stuff up, because this is the alternate way of doing it. Just blow it up and then you'll, after the red alert goes away, you'll be able to scan the wreckage and the door. Do both. You'll get security key. Six seven five zero. I don't know. I don't think that changes. And once it's highlighted, you know you have this coding section there, and you can engage it, and it will open the doors. If you haven't already leveled up to vice admiral at this point, uh, which you don't have to be. You can be a lower rank. I want to see you get it. This one pretty early on. Um, well, the ability to do it, because all the rewards scale up with you. So if you're a lieutenant, and you can only get lieutenant rank things, you can do this once, then get the lieutenant ranked item, and then come back and do it after you're a vice admiral, and then get the same item, but at a vice admiral rank. However, if you're doing this mission for the first time, I highly suggest getting the Scorpion Fighters reward. They're very nice, because you get 50 charges of them, and each charge pumps out three cloakable fighters that shoot torpedoes at your enemy. So that's a very nice reward to use in any other situation, especially the future Borg missions like Kidmer Accord. Very useful on that type of mission. So you'll just notice that we scanned a Borg sphere. Now these are the readings that you were detecting earlier. So we're gonna head down this hallway and continue on through these tunnels to destroy the last set of tractor beams and turrets, which will head to our final room. So as you can see, I'm just plowing through those force fields. Sometimes you get lucky and they don't hit you dead on, but other times they take off an entire facing section of your shields and start doing hull damage. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hmm, I wonder why. Go around the corner and... New spawn void. Oh, but more importantly, the Theron Reactor. Now, if you guys have seen anything about um, Nemesis, Star Trek Nemesis, the movie, that pretty much sums up the whole idea here. And this is Obasek. He's a Reman who is against the Romulan Empire. So he's questioning. He doesn't know what the hell you're doing there. Trying to get, trying to figure out if you're a friend or um, a foe. As I was saying about the Remans, 
you find out that the whole idea of, of the Remans is they're a blood relative of the Romulans, who is actually a blood relative of the Vulcans, but we won't get into that. They live on the far side of the moon, they're, you know, mining slaves, and uh, the Picard clone, you know, was part of them, became the Resistance, and, well, you'll have to see the movie to see the rest of that. But the idea still stands is that there are, the Remans do exist in this universe, so they brought him out and used him in this in the vault episode, which also carries on to uh, four more episodes after this, where you kind of follow Obasek and another Romulan commander, which uh, we'll find it. We'll meet him in another episode down the line. So he sees you, so they send out a bunch of scorpion fighters, which are a pain in the butt if um, he comes straight at them, because they do cloak a lot, and you'll lose your weapon lock and have to go search flying around in circles waiting for them to pop up in front of you so my advice at this point is to just gun it down these hallways taking out these scorpion fighters is pretty easy all you have to do is make sure you equip the best two weapons preferably at least one of them being a torpedo launcher of some sort and your best shield slot as well put these on your shuttle before you leave on this mission that way when you encounter these fighters you can take them down pretty quickly also make sure you have some sort of combat engine because high turns are needed to get these guys before they cloak away the way to get those hard turns is to throttle down preferably to half or less you can get the best turning at those speeds, just maneuvering speeds. Otherwise, at higher speed, you'll take a way longer of a curve to go around. So now we're going back into the room with that Borg sphere in it, and through scorpion fighters right off the bat. Again, pain in the butt. Oh, turn around. Now I have my throttle set to full, and notice I only got like a, a one second pass on him to get my forward weapons on him. But now, you know, I've gotten him in front of me, and I throttled down to half, slowed down a little bit and cut them in my sights longer that way. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, he cloaked right as I got a lock on him. See, this is what I mean. Flying around in circles. Kind of ridiculous. I'll come back. Now, it even gets worse after this point because you have to fight. It looks like you have to fight something big like the Mogami Escort. And uh, you figure shuttle Mogami versus Mogami Escort. This is not going to be a good thing. So that's why, that's why at this point you kind of want to save up your evasive maneuvers because you're going to need that to get away from them. Um, so I, in this attempt, I came in a little hot, and I missed uh, the locking mechanism that you have to shoot out uh, to open the door. So I just charged at it, and my finger slipped, so I missed the shut off the full impulse power button, and I just kind of overshot it right into a wall. So I come about, one quick pass, takes out the locking mechanism, engage the evasive maneuvers, getting my butt out of there, go plowing through those shields, see that I'm just running away, and as I'm running away, I still I have to get with uh, outside of that 10 kilometer radi radius of their weapons, so they ate into my rear shields. And then you finally come back to where you got in. Now, the only thing between you and getting out of this place is Bird of Prey. There's only one of them, and if you use all of the abilities you have in one fell swoop, you should be able to take them out. Because this is the last guy, so you might as well use everything on him anyways. So open fire, tactical team, go down fighting, all those good things that my tactical guy has. Also take out those heavy plasma torpedoes, because they will do a lot of damage to your hull and end up beating away at you. Keep in mind you're a shuttle, so your base hull is not very high. Now if you were in a bigger ship, and that burn dot was on you, it wouldn't be much of a problem because it's got a lot to burn away at. However, shuttles, not so much. So after we get out, they say rendezvous with the shuttle and the nebula, but the sensors are kind of screwy, and they say, take care of the fighters, take care of the torpedoes, I'll take care of the battleship. I let one of the scorpion fighters go because I know that torpedo was coming out. Now, that Datarix has one that he can shoot out, or he can use a special where he shoots out three plasma torpedoes at once. Oh, I died. Now, because aside from also shooting those plasma torpedoes, they also got a spread of plasmas off and ended up blowing me up. Because I'm a little shuttlecraft. So you want to get in there and take out a scorpion fighter. Now, you notice the Datarix is 
pretty much dead. It's just waiting for me to finish my mission objective, which is take out all the fighters. So now he's going to be all disabled and stuff. Just click off of him to make sure you're not targeting him because shooting him after that green plasma starts coming out the middle is pretty much useless. Waste of time. And after this, you get to depart the system after red alert goes off. And that is pretty much the vault. The only thing you have to do now is go to Starbase 39. Kind of a pain in the butt. You turn in this mission and you get to move on to episode 2, which I will be posting hopefully next week. I have them all downloaded and edited. All I have to do is add commentary. So we'll see how that goes. But yay, yeah, shoot off some fireworks, mission complete. So we're going to go back to Admiral Tanay's office, uh, to talk to DeSoto. Freeloader, just standing around in her office all day, and be like, yep, this is my office, see? Oh, never, never mind that Admiral sitting behind that desk. So we're going to go collect our reward, and right off the bat, you can get those scorpion fighters that attack you, or you can get a beam array or a dual cannon. Uh, they're, again, scaled, so since I'm a Vice Admiral, I get Mark 11, and they're S which is really nothing impressive. So I already have uh, fighters, which is the best one to get, because it's just a usable item. And the other two weapons you can find very rare versions of that are much better. So that's it. Thanks for watching Episode 1, The Vault. Stay tuned for Episode 2.